Microsoft Word document. Hi, it's Dr. Robinson, and today I'm going to show you how to do math uh, using the Braille Math Editor with JAWS, doing multiple levels in one fell swoop with one problem. I choose a really basic algebra problem, and this just applies to absolutely everything you're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and up arrow. One, one. Math content equals two minus minus. Okay. Period. Space. Italic. Equation comma. Math content. So I did this uh, problem with all equals. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, this is LaTeX. So let me go ahead and show you. Double. So I can type in. So if you didn't have a broad display, and this is how a transcriber would do it, it would type in number two. Space. They would do all equals. A, and all of this can be done right here on the keyboard. And I'm going to go ahead and equals. just do equals Space. two Dash. minus nine, nine A. a. So a transcriptionist can come in, they can go ahead and type out all of the algebra, send this to the student, and then this is how the student is going to solve it. Uh, they're gonna enter. hit enter, go no, up there. Okay, time. so now, that was a transcriber, now I'm the blind student and this is how I'm gonna solve it. I am using a Focus 40 Braille display, and I'm gonna show you the mode I'm using in just a second. Let me get into the problem. Space. The time, the content. Once I'm in my math content, I'm going to G.7 in space, and I want you to listen to the modes that I have. Computer Braille. You can do it in Computer Braille. I actually like using the combination of uh, Computer Braille and Nemeth code. Let's keep going. Contracted on slash computer in. That's my preferred mode, but I could also use... Contracted Braille. Contracted Braille. But both modes work exquisitely. So let's go ahead and go back. Computer Braille. Nope. Computer yep. Okay, so now that I'm on here, I'm going to go ahead and go into my Braille math editor and I'm using my Braille display. I could do insert space, shift equals if I wanted to on the keyboard. But I'm going to go ahead and do 3746 space. Braille math editor, equation edit contain. And you'll immediately notice that it inputted. I don't have to re input this. So the transcriber will go ahead and transcribe this all out using all equals. The blind student goes up. They're right on the problem. All they have to do is open the Braille Math Editor, and there is the math. So now the student can start solving this. I'm going to four, five, six, and get to the end of my problem. Um, up. So I clearly know uh, where I need to hit enter. I'm just going to add a dot six here for a comma. So I know all I have to do is go to my commas and then hit enter to move them into uh, vertical levels because the sighted child they're doing they see a equals two minus nine a they're gonna go to the next line start solving it. So let's go through each step. Let's go ahead and do a dot six. Okay, okay at this point space. always do a space. I'm looking at the problem and I need to group all the terms on the left side of the equation. So I have a equals two minus nine a. What do I need to do first? I need to add nine a to both sides. Let's go ahead and do that. And at each point, I can keep coming back and check to make sure I'm really doing this right. So here we go. Dot one. Dot three four six. Dot three five. Dot one. Space. Dot four six. Dot one three. Dot two three. Dot three six. Dot three five. Dot one. Dot three four six. Dot three five. Dot one. Okay. After I finish typing that out, I'm going to double check to really make sure I did that correctly because we start railing away and it's easy to make goofs. I think I'm doing pretty okay right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a comma in there and make sure I do a space. space. And now I need to simplify the arithmetic. So let's go ahead and simplify. Once again, I'm putting my fingers back over the braille to make sure I'm gonna do this correctly. Here we go. Dot two, dot three, five, six, dot one, space, dot four, six, dot one, three, dot two, three, dot three, six, dot three, five, dot one, dot three, four, six, dot three, five, dot one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and check that back over and make sure I did that correctly. I, let's go ahead and put a comment in there because now I need to group my like terms. Dot six. Okay, always make sure you do a space after that dot six because it will mess up your math coming up. Space. Okay, now let's go ahead and group our like terms. Dot two, dot three, five, dot one, space, dot four, six, dot one, three, dot three, six, dot three, five, dot one, dot three, four, dot three, five, dot one. That's three, four, six. That's two, three. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and check that to make sure I did it correctly because we already know we're humans. It's easy to make errors. Just double checking on my broad display. Okay, I like it. Let's go ahead and do a dot six there. Six. Make sure you do your space. Space. And now I need to simplify my arithmetic. Let's go ahead and do that. Dot two. 
I also kind of want to make note that sometimes I, I put a space after my equals, sometimes I don't. The point is, it doesn't matter. The Braille editor will go ahead and do that for you. But I know, I'm human, you know, I start doing a little fast, sometimes I put an extra space in there. Doesn't matter. Uh, we've got it. So I just want to double check, simplify my math, run my fingers over my Braille display. I like it. I think it's pretty good. Okay, so now I need to isolate my A. I'm going to go ahead and do a dot six, dot six. and I'm going to do a space. space. Always make sure you get your space in there. And what's also nice about in the Braille editor, you put a couple extra spaces in there, it doesn't matter. It's going gonna, it's gonna to fix it for you, which is really, really nice. Okay, I need A all by myself. Dot one. Space. Oh, all by itself. I'm going to put an equal in there. Space. Okay, and I need to go ahead and divide both sides by 10 because that's the ideal here. This is going to become a fraction. I need to show my work, so let's go ahead and put the fraction in here. That's four, five, six, that's three, that's three, four, five, two, that's three, five, six, that's and three, four, five, six. Okay, so the teacher can see, okay, 2 over 10, I've got that. Go ahead and put your doc 6 in there so you can truly show the last part of your answer. And A is going to equal fraction indicator 1 fifth. And that fraction, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and do a space. Once again, I'm going to start at the very top. I'm going to do 1, 2, 3 space. Move right to the top, and I can run my fingers along my brow display and really check every single aspect of my mouth. I'm going to go ahead and 4, 5, 6. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this, so I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, and I'm going to insert this. Microsoft Word document. Microsoft okay. Word document. The uh, Braille editor minimizes your window. If Alt up Braille doesn't work, do an Alt space. Alt space. Alt tab off. Word, the the Alt tab back on. Document one dash word. The move to the diamond. Press the arrow keys. Document one dash. Windows up arrow. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and read along. Everywhere I find a comma, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter after that so I can move all the information down. The tab, the tab minus my period. Space, period. Okay. And. Space. Yep, there's my comma. And I can feel it on my Braille display also. So I'm going to go ahead and a go period. to a period and hit enter, enter and move that down. Let's keep going. Enter, keep moving it down. And five in space easily moves you through all of this and go ahead and hit enter. enter. Now, what you can immediately notice is, and don't you love it, it, it centers everything. No big deal. Go ahead and do all your enters in there, then select everything and do a control L. Let's go ahead and do a control A, Selected. One and a control L, Justified. which does not work. Go to each line, just control L. The line left. And then jump Mac down arrow, control the line L, Mac content the line control left. L, Mac content the line left. Mac content equals the line left. Mac content the line left. Okay. And this is fairly new, so guess what? I will be sending this to them so they can work on those little uh, issues. And then go ahead and go up and just go to each item and go ahead and get rid of all those little commas. So this is how you do multi-level math, very easy, under the fingers. Okay, so that is Dr. Denise right now for the new Braille Math Editor with JAWS.